The woman you're about to meet knows that all too well. She's alive because of an organ donation and recently got to hold the heart that once failed her. Here's Damon Fernandez. It's been a rough few months for Sybil Sifflett. My mind was blank. The 63-year-old grandmom from DeSoto is bouncing back from a heart transplant and a kidney transplant. To be honest, I was, it's just blank. But it's what Sifflet's about to experience at Baylor University Medical Center that's getting to the heart of her journey. Well, come in, young lady. Hey, Dr. Robert. I hear everybody loves you. It's taken several surgeries and years of heart disease for Sifflet to meet cardiologist Dr. William Roberts. Who told you you could see your own heart? Robert started a program at Baylor University Medical Center called Heart to Heart, where transplant patients get a chance to see and touch their old heart. And inside that blue packaging is Sifflet's heart. Should I be nervous? No, oh. I'm not. <laughs> what she's about to see is not the kind of heart we're used to seeing. Here it goes. Sifflet's original heart is discolored because it's been stored in formaldehyde. It's been cut and studied by Robert's team for research. Your heart is, is covered with quite a bit fat. of fat, adipose tissue. Wow. Now, the Heart to Heart programs allow more than 130 transplant recipients to see their old hearts so far. It looks pretty impressive. Look at all that. Sifflet and her family were looking forward to this moment. This is amazing. I can't believe I'm holding my heart, my old heart. Through all of her surgeries and struggles, Sifflet's been determined not to let heart disease get her down. I just saw a miracle. I, I, I know I'm a miracle, but just actually see it, See my old heart on the table? Yeah, you've gone through some things. Yes, I have. Sifflet's health made her sacrifice some special things over the past six months. Driving the school bus. She had to stop the career she called her passion. Well, I love children. I just, I love children. Someone has to be, someone has to be their voice. These days, Sifflet's focusing on rehab, friends, and family. And she's sharing her story with other heart patients, hoping her journey helps make a difference. God has been good to me and give me another chance of life to help others. In Dallas, I'm Damon Fernandez. Wow. Fascinating, <laughs> right? Wow. I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's surreal. Talk about a great way to teach all of us um, how to take better care of our hearts, yeah, right? To see that fat on the old heart, mm -hmm. boy, oh boy, what a blessing.